Okay, here we okay. are at 58 days gestation and my husband is building a nesting box for our Great Pyrenees to deliver her puppy. She's pretty fat at this point and she needs a space that's just all hers to be able to deliver those little puppies. Um, it could be as soon as tonight, which is just crazy to think about. Um, this guy is so creative and just use kind of really the wood that he has to create a space for our dog and a safe space for the puppies. Here's the mama. She is just looking really tired. Look at her eyes. You can tell she's just not feeling good. And she's um, having some pain because um, she normally doesn't have this red of, or droopy eyes. You can see her stomach a little bit here. It's pretty significantly bulged. And this is the daddy. And he is our Newfoundland. And he is just the sweetest boy ever. So they are a match made in heaven. And this is what my husband is doing. He's putting floorboards on the bottom of the nesting box, really for the purpose just to make it warmer. Um, it's gonna be on tile. Um, and he's just gonna do it on part because it does get really hot where they will be. And so he wants to give our dog Delilah space to kind of separate from the puppies as they get older if she needs to. All right, and again, this guy is just a genius. He can think outside the box and create anything. So super proud of him. That's gonna be your box. Delilah, get ready, those puppies are coming. Okay, so I just wanted to show you really where we are going, gonna keep the puppies and put the nesting box that my husband is making. We have this area, um, it's off the kitchen. So we have like a garage, our fifth bedroom that's just a spare extra bedroom and a bathroom and this long hallway. And so we are going to actually put Delilah here, put the nesting box here. The floor is tile, so it'll clean up really nicely after the puppies are born. In the video, it looks dirty, but it's actually not. I think it's just the lighting um, from above. And then we'll, we'll have a gate like this. And so I'll kind of show you once the nesting box gets in place. Uh, we do like to have um, our baby animals in the house. We like to keep a close uh, contact and um, be able to have them stay warm enough and be where we can hear them and see them. And so this is where all the puppies will be. You can see that she's breathing super hard. Again, we're only on day 59, uh, but she looks super tired like she didn't sleep last night. So we're wondering if she's been having contractions. So on day 60, something really uh, quite remarkable happened. Uh, we expected our dog to have puppies on the 60th. We had tracked from the first day that she had gotten pregnant and um we were anticipating her to have babies on thursday day 60 and my husband was out here on the deck outside i'll show you really quick this is our back deck and he was just sitting out here relaxing um, we had kept our female really close to home um, and inside so that we could watch her we wanted her really close to us knowing she could give birth at any moment and my husband was sitting right here in this chair and underneath these floorboards he started to hear the sound of a little puppy it was about maybe 10 minutes since our female was outside and first thing he did was he called our mama brought her inside and then he kept on hearing the sound and he dug up 
the floorboards of our deck and lo and behold, yes, she had given birth to her very first puppy. This is her first litter, so she was uh, probably quite scared, didn't know what to do, obviously didn't need, didn't know to go into the, her puppy box and just found the safest place that she could find, which is underneath this deck. It's shady, it's cool. Um, no other dogs or kids or anyone else could get to her. And so this is where our first puppy happened to be born. At that time, of course, we brought the puppy inside. We put the puppy in with mama in her puppy delivery box. Um, and we left her there to be in quiet and to rest. Uh, we have a pretty full house with lots of kids, about six kids that live um, in our home. And five of them, I believe, happen to not be here as well as myself. Um, and so I think it's really beautiful how dogs know what to do. They know to find quiet. They know to find shade. They know to wait till just the right moment when everything is quiet and when she can relax and deliver her puppies. And so this began our puppy delivering journey. Is number two.
Instagram.
Girl, mama. Oh, he's beautiful. Girl. It's a girl. Oh, she's beautiful, City. She has a short nose. Look at her. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah. We are actually, um, this is the morning after a full day of delivery, and we are changing really the puppy pads and the places where they sleep because it just keeps getting dirty. We keep putting new towels in there mom's outside going potty here's the puppies this morning they all look super healthy um she's done such a great job of cleaning them i mean they're like beaming white look at these puppies they're just gorgeous they all look super great this morning super healthy and so i can't wait to get them again on just a new um a new place to sleep that's clean because um, poor mama you know has some blood and needs to keep cleaning herself as well and no more puppies arrive through the night so it looks like this is our batch this is what we have so we're excited nine puppies <laughs>